What's up everybody? It's your boy Dalvo. I'm back with another cooking video and today we make some chicken, bacon, and broccoli alfredo. When I crave it, it's so contagious. Don't get caught up in the mission, don't get caught inside the loop. VIP with raw fishes, I'ma show you what to do. Big and snatchy, big and this shit about to slap. I stole this recipe from my auntie. I'm about to share it with y'all so y'all can get in on some of this joy. Yeah, chicken alfredo is normally good, but this chicken, bacon, broccoli alfredo is about to hit on another different level. I'm about to walk y'all through how I make it. This is the sauce I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna use classic alfredo sauce. You can make your own. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the uh, jar sauce today. Uh, I got my chicken breast, I got my bacon, and I got my frozen broccoli as well. Man. Right now I'm starting off by getting bringing my water to a boil for my noodles. And again, as you guys know, I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt for for taste. It's not like a certain estimate I use. This probably don't even look like a lot to y'all, but I don't even wanna make it too much. But I'm also gonna use a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add a couple drops of that. Again, maybe, oh shit, that might be too much. Well, whatever. You just use some, that way it helps with them sticking. Unfortunately, I have a bigger pan to boil my stuff in. So I'm gonna wait till that starts boiling before I insert my noodles. So in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut up some bacon and put that on because the trick to this recipe too, I'm gonna use bacon grease to make my chicken in. I'll be laughing about my little t-shirt either. It's just a t-shirt. I'm around the house by myself, who cares? So I got my noodles in here and I'm about to stir these Okay, more occasionally than occasionally because my bucket head ass wanna have this small ass saucepan. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get those a little stir so they won't really stick together. But uh, this is so bad. I'm gonna use this. Uh, so yeah, they kind of sticking. But I'm using this fork and this is like in my non-stick freaking saucepan. So I'm gonna try not to touch the bottom. But yeah, see they was kind of sticking a little bit, but just stir them occasionally a little bit. Freak guys, I didn't even look at the time. When I put these in, but anyway, these are supposed to boil for like 11 minutes. I'm not really doing this in the exact order I would be doing it in for the simple fact that my chicken wasn't unthought and it kind of delayed me. But this is what I typically would do. Next, since my noodles are done and, and the water is drained from them, I'm just going to pour my one jar of Alfredo sauce. And I'm not, I don't have like exact measurements. Again, th this is my second time making this recipe. I, my auntie used to make enough. Freaking love this so much. And I'm gonna bring this to a boil a little bit. Heat it some, and then I'm gonna put my noodles inside of it first and stir it around. All right, y'all, so I think we've been inside. I got my bacon on, so I'll, I got this. It's starting to boil a little bit, so I'm gonna stir that around a little bit and then add the noodles into it. And my bacon is gonna start cooking. I just pour my noodles. I got a better tube, by the way. I just pour my noodles in here, and I'm gonna be good. So from here, this it's really, like, like again, the bacon is cooking, but from here, it's really simple. Like once the rest of your stuff gets done, just add it to it. Bacon gets done, chop it up, add to it. Add my chicken, my cut up and seasoned chicken into the bacon grease. Cook it, add it to it. Add my broccoli to the skillet after the chicken is done. Cook that up some, add it to it, stir it all around, and your chicken alfredo is complete. And I really cannot wait because it's about to taste so good. Y'all done with another half. I'm telling y'all, y'all guys can try this recipe. I ain't gonna tell y'all nothing wrong now. If you like chicken alfredo, try chicken, bacon, broccoli, alfredo. I ain't gonna tell y'all nothing wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon a little flip. I made this recipe one time before. And low key, um, it came out really good. But my bacon, I wish it was a little bit more crispy. Cause it's gonna, and so I wanna try to, that's what I'm gonna try to aim for. I'm gonna try to cook these a little bit longer than this time. Um, uh, I don't know Cut up my freaking. I know real cookers, and if they're watching, they're probably cussing me out for using this um freaking silver fork instead of my nonstick. But I'm, look, I really feel like I'm messing up. My, I'm damaging my freaking pan. Put these bad boys over again. But if I get popped by this grease, I'm suing all y'all. And here we go. This bacon is coming out much better than what I did the first time. Like this, you got that crunch to it. It's gonna have that crunch to it. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on the bottom there. I'm gonna go ahead and get these chicken breasts cut up now and season so I can cook them inside of the bacon grease. From the bacon. This is my grease left over from the bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my chicken breasts, season them, and then insert them into this grease. It just adds that extra little flavor.
coat the bottom of this. I'll just turn the fire on, warm it up a little bit. And yeah, so once that heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken inside. And then I'm gonna chop up this bacon and insert it here. I know y'all probably thinking, man, that should look dry as hell, but at the same time, I might open that other that second can, but I may or may not. But like I said, y'all get the idea. I'm just trying to give y'all the base of the recipe. I'm doing what works for me. I got this chicken going. I'm just gonna turn this a few times. And we wanna just bring that chicken. I just need that brown on the chicken, obviously. The chicken done to my liking, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that and my cut of bacon inside of there. And we're gonna get that started around. I did take out the second can the second jar of this because it is, I ain't gonna lie, it is looking a little bit dry. So I'm just have to waste whatever I don't use just to loosen it up a little bit. chicken and you're using a capable tool for a non-stick skillet look at that and I'm gonna go ahead and add my broccoli into this right now and I'm gonna start it so I got my frozen broccoli I cannot wait for this to get done, y'all. This is about to slap on like a different level. And as far as the broccoli goes, just turning it around, so just cooking it up a little bit. There's not really no set time. I keep making this, I just try to soften it up before I put it inside of the food. I'm gonna go ahead and get that mixed up. So this is pretty much a done deal, guys. Um, I'm gonna put the lid over this and let it simmer for about a good minute or two. Low key, wish I would have chopped the broccoli up a little bit more than what it is. I think I'm gonna do that next time. But there you have it, though. Um, chicken, bacon, broccoli. Afraid I'm gonna top this off with some um, Parmesan cheese. This is pretty much a done deal, guys. I don't even gotta try to taste this because I already know it tastes amazing. Auntie inspired me to do this video. It's her recipe, so I'm giving her all of the credit. Hopefully you guys uh, get this a try. And let me know, if you do give it a try, let me know how yours turn out. But thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you, peace out.